All right, welcome back. Nick Johnson is a main game warden. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. It is free fishing weekend. So first, what is free fishing weekend? I guess the name kind of explains it, but uh, what do we need to know? Yeah, free fishing weekend. It's a great opportunity for everyone in the state uh, to get out and enjoy some some ice fishing in this time of year. Uh, basically, it's uh, this weekend, February 17th and 18th. Um, where anybody who doesn't have a license or who doesn't fish can go out fish for free. Mm -hmm. um, of course, unless your license is suspended or revoked because right. you've gotten in trouble. Uh, but uh, other than that, you can go out, enjoy yourself, fish with friends, and uh, hopefully pick up a new hobby. There's going to be spots, I would assume, across the state where ice is in better spots than others. What do you want people to know before they go out on the ice? Any tips that we, we could have to make sure things are safe? Absolutely. We want to make sure people are having fun, but we want to make sure people are doing it safely. So one of the most important things is to be prepared. Bring your tools out with you, your ice picks, your ice cleats, all that type of stuff that's going to keep you safe while you're on the ice. It's more fun to go with a partner, but it's also more safe to go with a partner as well. So look for your good ice. Look for that nice blue ice. If you see something gray, don't go. And in general, if you don't know, don't go. Mm -hmm. But go with a partner, go with somebody who knows the area. While you're out there, talk to local fishermen. They'll have the best knowledge as far as what's safe and what's not. What are some things to keep in mind in terms of what you want to bring out there? I know everybody wants to have uh, the shack, the truck, mm -hmm. you know, the tunes going, the sled, all that stuff. Are there certain amounts of ice where you think it's safe to have a certain amount of weight out there? Absolutely. What we're really looking four is four to six inches of that nice blue ice anything gray black a lot of slush on top you want to be really careful but that four to six inches of that nice blue clear ice is what we're really looking for and you know being safe that's what we want also like you mentioned uh, is to try to get some people who maybe haven't tried this interested in uh, the great outdoors absolutely it's a great opportunity to get out to do it ice fishing is for everybody it's fun um, whether you like fishing, you don't like fishing, you can always go out there, enjoy some red hots, and uh, that's always a good time as well. Yeah, right. You get to bring the cribbage board and stay by the fire and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, will you be out there uh, fishing yourself this weekend? Of course. Well, I'll be working. You'll be but, working. Uh, yeah, Watching I'll be working. Fishing. Yeah, that's that's correct. I, a different type of fishing. So. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Uh, any tips for uh, where we can get the best stuff? You keep that for yourself. Well, of course, I got to keep my own secrets uh, in my <laughs> own pocket. But uh, of course, wherever you go, make sure you know the laws where you go. If you're questioning any laws you can find in all those laws right on our uh, website uh, use the main angling tool it's an interactive map that we've created that's really helpful for learning your fishing laws sure and so this weekend uh, tomorrow and Sunday you can fish for free and then again in June if you uh, if you're so inclined right that's correct I believe it's June 1st and 2nd but uh, double check that as the date comes closer I think you're right about that one all right thank you so much for coming in stay safe check the ice enjoy yourself maybe pick up a new habit uh, enjoy yourself have a great week